Okay. Well, I think we're here. Who's here is here. Yay. I'm more here than I was a minute ago. <laughs> so this is our 17th prayer circle. And I keep keeping track of the number because it's kind of like this meter now for me of like where, how many weeks I've been in this new world. We've all been in this new kind of COVID world. So 17 weeks in. Um, and this is for all of us, no matter who you are and what you believe. Um, there's a space here for your prayer for the higher good of all of us. Just adding that seed into that. Um, we begin with our honoring, so let's just do that. In gratitude of the directions, east, south, west, north, above, below, center, we are honored with this opportunity to co-create in this place. In gratitude of the elements, air, fire, water, earth, akasha, we are honored with the building blocks that provide foundation. In gratitude of time, past, present, future, we are honored by the ancestors, the now, and the descendants. In gratitude of the makers, mother, father, God, and all the names, we are honored with this opportunity to experience the gift of life. In gratitude of the guides, teachers, divinity, nature, archetypes, allies, we are honored with the wisdom, the understanding, and the patience. And in gratitude of ourselves, heart, mind, body, soul, we are honored with the chance to serve the highest good of all. And so we arrive. I think everybody who's here has been here before, so we know what we're doing. And if you're not sure, we'll catch on pretty fast. <laughs> so there's our stuff that we've agreed to over the years. <laughs> I don't quite feel like reading through it all right now, if you're okay with that. Um, but please bring your prayers <laughs> and your heart, however that is for you. Um, and how we do it, right? Just whatever comes. A verse, a heartfelt offering, a song, a syndrome, goes, all that. And am I recording? Let's make sure, because it is that kind of morning. Yes, indeed, I am recording for whoever wants to watch us and this later and get all the prayers that we offer so it's 1106 where i sit and i'm thinking that this morning a good like 12 12 minutes or so of breathing together maybe even 13 might be a, a helpful thing um and so let's just do that and breathe and and I'll let us know we've gotten to that place, but if we're just in that breath for longer, we will be, and whoever's ready to offer their prayer can then raise their hand within that breath. And if we get to 12, my time, and we're still just breathing, then we needed all that time to breathe. Um, but I trust that each of you will bring whatever, whatever needs to happen in, in today. So um, in essence, let's just breathe into our heart center, into our temple of our being, of this vessel that allows us to do all that we do in our life, experiencing our love and allowing that love to spread and connect to the heart of the earth and the heart of the cosmos and the heart of the divine, however that manifests in and through you. so that we each connect in that heart space with each other on this call with those who watch this later hi you future people and to all those who have done this heart breath and breathed in this way through all the years we're connected with all of them and i'll just leave it at that as we breathe now for
So within all of our breath, there's something you would like to offer. Raise your hand or put it in the chat box or even just unmute yourself and offer your prayer. I don't think we'll step on top of each other. So. And in between we breathe. I came across something in my daily readings this past week that just felt appropriate and I'd like to read it. Today, the legion of the future years of waiting for salvation disappears before the timelessness of what you learn. Let us give thanks today that we are spared a future like the past. Today, we leave the past behind us never more to be remembered and we raise our eyes upon a different present where a future dawns unlike the past in every attribute the world in infancy is newly born and we will watch it grow in health and strength to shed its blessing upon all who come to learn to cast aside the world they thought was made in hate to be love's enemy. Now are they all made free along with us. Now are they all our brothers in God's love. Thank you. Whoever's next, just come forward. I forgot. I forgot to mention that I am Petra and I'm actually in Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> So something's just occurring to me, and I just want to make sure that we're all aware of that, that, right, this is recording and, and it's putting all our names out, right? And I'm putting this out in Facebook. So I think that we need to add a little note when we begin every week, just if you don't want your full name to be there, to change it, and you can change your name on your, your settings so that it's what name you're okay with. That just occurred to me right now. So, and if it doesn't matter one way or the other, then it is what it is. So anyway, a prayer for that. That's a prayer sort of in a way. So who's next? Who has a prayer to share?
okay, I'm feeling a bit uh, tender and strange in this uh, prayer, but I just have this woman that has kept coming to me over and over again since uh, I joined the meeting, Ubaka Hill. She led a workshop. She's a drummer uh, uh, in New York City. And the song I sang, or I think it was our last prayer circle or a few ago, um, Oh, grandmother, great grandmother, come in the circle and dance with me. And the group was singing it together. I have another song in my heart from her, and I wanted to sing that and offer it to the to the group. I hope, but uh, <laughs> I hope it's it really indigo. It it started bubbling when I read what you wrote um, about uncertainty and how um learning to live in possibility and float adrift in that more surrendering place for me it just something struck a chord and i'm like off in saskatchewan at my son's place and and yet this was like an anchor that i've had for these 17 weeks <laughs> and even when i wasn't on the call i felt my heart here being held which I know is exactly the intention that you put out. So I'm having a strange juxtaposition of being both the answer to someone's prayer and having my own prayers answered. So to this crazy chaos and wild situation we all find ourselves in, I'm going to offer this song. <clears throat> You've got to humble yourself in the arms of the wise. You got to go down low and ask her what she knows and humble yourself in the arms of the wise. You've got to go down low and ask her what she knows and humble yourself in the arms of the wild so thank you all <laughs> you're in my heart and this prayer circle world will always be in my heart <laughs> thank you jane down low humbled in the arms of the wild <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Who else has something to offer? Eric. Hi, Eric. You unmuted yourself, Eric, so now you're on the spot. Come on. <laughs> no, no pressure. Let me know. And then we breathe.
So right before the call started, before I ran out to go deal with the farm thing and then ran back in, I pulled a card um, out of the Nimbus Oracle deck and it was Thoth. I just want to bring him in because um, with, he's just, he's the guy, right? <laughs> be wise, he says, be wise. Think it through, honor your truth. Write it down, plan it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. And I'm in a lot of process of that letting go, as some of you know. So, thank you, Thoth. <laughs> Pray to the wisdom in each of us, that divine innate knowing that we all carry in our hearts. May it see us through whatever it is that these times bring to each of us. Who else has a prayer to share? You're muted. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Sign language. <laughs> it's funny. Read your lips. <laughs> if we were wearing masks, we'd never know. <laughs> it was, that's funny. It's a, it's a laugh for today. We all need it. Um, I'm Anita Merrick, our crystal wind, and I'm from Erin, New York. Um, and I have a, a prayer from Osiris today. Um, Osiris is, is rare that I get anything from Osiris, so I was quite surprised when I asked who would like to speak. And I entitled this Scattered Pieces in Broken Hearts of Glass. And then he goes like this. Asakam Sahu, this is the time of great wonderment and tested souls. Darkness enfolds the future, for it is yet intended to be so. For creation is instant and timely at once. Creation occurs in both bits and pieces and expansive things. Yet creation on all levels is a mystery outside of time, yet a mystery that never ceases, never falls away unfinished, never halts as a broken clock, never minds the fearsome, the worrisome, or minds that fall prey to its wonderment and fear. I see so many uncertain minds and desperate thoughts. Expectancy is the premium and shot and and seems, excuse me, so to be so many um, feeling hopelessly uncertain and that the, oh dear, <laughs> my writing has got to improve. Uncertainty than the promise. Okay, I'm sorry. It's, it's more hopelessly uncertain than the promise. You've come to think of it as such. Yet fear not what cannot be comprehended in this time of unusual changes. The new terror by night is something uncontrollable and 
mysteriously small for your understanding, yet hurt and hearts have become like crystalline glass, breakable at the nearest moment, the most perfect vibrations of songs and that that should be sung more loudly and too easily shattered into shards that seem impossible to recollect. But remember that the stories of my remembering, the magical recreation that came to be, that occurred as a rec recreational hope in face of the most impossible things. So too, I am reminded and remind each of my children that there is never a darkness impervious to your light, never a hopelessness too despairing for the flicker of starlight, never an end to the past too subjective to emotional souls. Always the power comes from the meekest within, and so it shall be again. The smallest prayer is heard, the weakest voice forever heartfelt by the divine. The weakest off-key singing voice creates the new aria. Scattered hearts, shattered dreams only appear to carry no hope. The truth is as glass, while it is easily shattered, the truth is reality, continuing and cannot be, sh cannot be hidden. Walk through this dark time, holding heads and hearts gently. Carry not the blame, the fear, or misery that only seems cast across your path. Remembering your world will yet occur. Patience, compassion, and the lighting of the tiniest heart flame shall open the gates to a fervent and verdant future. Hang your heart in your own, on your own star. Its light cannot be extinguished by fear. For the wisdom of magic and mystical shall yet prevail. And I apologize for it being so rough, but <laughs> when they speak, sometimes it's hard to keep up with them um, in that I felt like he had more to say, but then I got interrupted and my mind drifted. So I have to leave it at that. Thank you, Osiris. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Osiris. Wise words. Who else has a prayer to share? Go ahead, Eric. Oh, this is Eric, and as many of you know, I'm I'm just south of Portland, Oregon, and every year this weekend there is a special festival that we in this area and people from many very far away, Canada, all sorts, come to. It's called the Oregon Country Fair. It's a it's everything you want in a summer festival and and I've been privileged to be taking part in it um, and it encompasses music and food and frivolity and magic and crafts but one of the one of the key places is certainly um, a place of prayer uh, the altered space and my heart is there today. This would be the last day of fair, and I just offer up a, a special prayer for the country fair, for that consecrated place where so many people have offered up prayers and 
and um, communed with the great spirit and how they recognize him or her and and just that those times of light and and fun and deep community and deep communion will come back again very soon and that the spirit oh god will guide us back to allow us to come together in all that richness and all that wonderment and all that depth very soon. That is my prayer. Amen. Thank you, Eric. I feel that lands of the, the Oregon Country Fair organization owns 500, give or take, acres of land where we hold our festival. And so all the animals are having a different kind of festival this year without us there as humans there. So blessings to the land that's having a breath, just like all of us as well. It's hard not to see you, Eric, and all the others that, that we come together with year after year, 50 years we've been gathering there. So I feel you, Eric. <laughs> Who else has a prayer? Yeah, I feel prayer bubbling up. I don't know what it is, but I feel it tickling at my heart. So let's see what comes. <laughs> Mother, Father, God, in all your names and all your faces and all your colors and ways of manifesting, thank you for this opportunity for life. This gift of breath, this gift of gathering together with others, whether in a small way on Zoom across our distances or someday again, a big way like the Oregon Country Fair. I ask that you hold me as I float in this place of possibility because just as easily that possibility can flip and be the uncertainty once again. It's a fine line between the two. Thank you for helping me arrive now and now and now in this perpetual series of moments of presence. May the choices I make in each of these nows and each of these moments of presence be for my highest good and for the highest good of all of those around me to the best of my ability at any time. Forgive me when I stumble or don't see the whole truth. And great Spirit, I ask that you hold me, that you are the sea in which I float. 
that you help me find the space and the peace in that space. The peace in the space that allows it to just be rather than trying to be something continually just surrendering and arriving. Surrendering and arriving. Surrendering and arriving. Father, Father, God, all that help create this moment in this time. May you help us choose the choices that build a new world of co-creation and new possibilities for the highest health for all, whatever that looks like. And may I create enough space in my life to recognize what that is supposed to be. And to each of you, whatever that sits for you too, my prayer is for your highest health, your highest well-being. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Aho. All the ways we honor the prayer. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Inshallah. Hmm. Who else has a prayer to share? I see your note in Nita on behalf of Eric and I and all of those 45,000 people who would be out there this weekend. Thank you.
So if no one else has any more prayers, let's just breathe until about five minutes too, and then I'll open the mics. And we can say our goodbyes and then until next week, okay? And of course, if someone has something else to add, by all means. So when we started this call, I was so frazzled inside. I don't know. I don't need to help tell you how frazzled I was. Um, and now I feel really calm. And the space, the breath, each of the prayers, whether spoken out or just felt, um, just makes me remember how important this is. So thank you for showing up and helping me make it be what it is. Because me, it would be just like the all of us so um, let's unmute each other ourselves it seems like you probably won't need to unmute yourself um, we can all be in the same sound state at the moment yay, yay for us. blessings yay. to everyone <laughs> well and so we have been ahead of us so I'll see you on the other <laughs> side <laughs> what I Take care, all. As K. Pacha would say, Everybody so a... much love. <laughs> <laughs> Has he done anything lately? Has he? I haven't looked. Probably his week. He does a weekly thing, I think. But I haven't checked, so I'm not sure. <laughs> There's so much. There is so much going on right now. I've I've been listening been on on zoom and internet far too much but there's a lot of interesting stuff out there and to think that we might actually be in another harmonic convergence is kind of exciting to me interesting a little unsettling as well i'll just add <laughs> well yeah but you know it's all I'm everything is unsettling right now. <laughs> yeah for sure it's i'm just a surfer <laughs> Right? Yep. Flip-flop. This possibility is right. Let's get our surfboards out. Yep. Thank you. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Thank you all. Bye, all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks, you for everybody. Um, blessings. Bye. I'm ending now. Blessings all to right. everyone. Have a good one. Till next time. See you next week. <laughs>